Inside this airplane hangar is one of the hottest, most anticipated supercars to hit the American market in decades. It's rated at 480 horsepower, has all-wheel drive, and promises Porsche 911 turbo performance at half the price. Nickname, Godzilla. So here it is, Nissan's GTR. It's sort of the quintessence of a Japanese supercar. Totally Japanese styling, it doesn't look like anything else. Um, it's a car that uh, millions of people have uh, driven in the virtual world in previous generations. It's now coming to the United States for the first time. It was the Skyline GTR, and now it's just the GTR. And when they set out to design this car, they meant that they wanted to equal the performance of a 911 Turbo. So, you know, a car costing twice as much as they could possibly ask for this one. Toward that end, it has a twin turbo V6 in front, has all-wheel drive, just like the 911 Turbo, only in this case, uh, it has a six-speed dual shift transmission. So the twin clutch, very, very, very fast shifting. It's mounted in the back for the first time ever on an all-wheel drive front engine car. And uh, the engine has direct injection, Techno goodies abound underneath. There's even more techno cool stuff on the inside. Let's have a look. We're here inside the GTR, which offers a terrific uh, cockpit for the driver. Uh, the steering wheel is adjustable for rake and reach. The seats have terrific lateral support without resorting to giant wings that make it hard to get in and out. Just really a terrific place for everyone to get comfortable. But there's a lot of techno tricks in here too. Performance wise, these three buttons down here uh, control uh, everything from the strategy of the all-wheel drive system for race, normal, and snow work. Uh, we've got the adjustable shocks that go from comfort to normal to a race mode, which is very, very rigid. And we even have the traction and vehicle dynamic control that can be ta tailored to a race mode that allows a little bit more uh, you know, sliding and so forth before it intervenes. Or you can even switch it completely off for uh, tracking with, with no uh, safety net. Up here we have a screen that uh, gives you the, the standard audio and climate controls and, and uh, navigation. But the fun part, and this part was designed by the folks at Polyphony Digital who designed the Gran Turismo games that everyone's been enjoying the, uh, the GTR in to date. These then allow you to uh, see very specific information about the engine, the climate, the temperature of the, the uh, oil and the coolant and so forth. But they also give you fun uh, screens like this one that'll show your acceleration G's, the accelerator pedal angle and the boost, or one that'll show you your lateral G's uh, and the brake pedal application and so forth. Uh, those things are really hard to watch while you're uh, driving, so it's, it's almost fun to bring a passenger along to kind of map all that stuff. Not only that, but you can test your own uh, times, lap times and so forth, which can then be saved and downloaded from a compact flash card down here. It's almost no end to what you can do in this car. There's been so much buzz about this car that a lot of folks have uh, rushed to get information on en engineering cars and they've taken information at tracks that weren't totally level and so forth. So we've come here to El Toro Marine Station, lots of level runways to get the perfect numbers out of this car. Let's go see what you'll do.